What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a free Photoshop alternative. Now this is not the full blown Photoshop, but I used to use Pixlr and I stumbled upon this site. This video is not sponsored, I fully support this website and I thought I would show you guys. But it is basically an online version of Photoshop that's absolutely free. Now if you guys do like videos like this and want to see more videos on this website where I make things such as thumbnails and backgrounds, let me know down below in the comments and be sure to smash that like button down below and see if we can break 2000 likes for this video and with that being said let's get started so the site you want to go on is vector.com that is v-e-c-t-r and once you're on the site you want to use the online version you can download it if you want but for today's sake we're going to be using the simple online version and as soon as you actually open it up there's going to be a short tutorial which you can watch but you're watching this one now so i don't see why but basically this is vector vector is very similar to photoshop and Right now, we're not signed up or logged in because we're not going to be saving our work. I'm just going to be showing you how to use the software. So on the left side, you're going to see your pages as well as your layers. And like Photoshop, this is a layer-based editing software. So everything along the left side is very uh, you know, self-explanatory. You've got the rectangle tool. And with that, you can draw a rectangle. Now, once you actually make a shape, there's multiple ways you can edit it. You can go ahead and go to the background and you can, you know, change the color, make it an image or give it a gradient right from the actual right hand menu. So I can click on the color tool, make it maybe, I don't know, like a flat pink. And then I can give it a border. I'll give it a black border and I can just increase the points of it and I can position the border right from this menu. You can also add shadows so I can add a black shadow and, you know, give it uh, dimensions of 10 spread and 10 blur and as you can see the right side is basically the blending options that you have in Photoshop it's all the simple blending options you need to make different shapes and whatnot and you can also change the opacity and the inside shadow so you can change how deep you want things to be now you can also have snapping and grid options enabled just like Photoshop so you can snap things and you can have a grid right on the tool and then you have your file settings so you can save these in pixels or you can use other dimensions such as inches if you're going to be printing it on paper. And then finally, you have your export option as well as a new file option. And that is everything for the right side of the menu. The left side has your other shape tools such as your rounded rectangle, which is the same as a rectangle. Except it's rounded, you got your circle. If you hold shift, once again, it's going to give you a completely round circle, not a distorted one. You also have the pen tool. Now I have a video in Photoshop that teaches you how to use the pen tool and it's the same application process here. With the pen tool, what you can basically do is make any shape you want. So say I have this free draw pencil tool and I make this messed up heart shape, okay? What I can do is I can recreate the same shape using the pen tool. So if I, put a, if I was to import a sketch into the software, I could make an actual logo out of it just by using the pen tool like so. You just drag and then it continues to drag or what you can do is you can click on this node and I can continue to make the tool or make the shape. And just like that, I just made the same heart shape and then I can, you know, delete the pencil one. And here you can see all of the layers. So say I wanted to, you know, remove the sketch, I can click on this icon or I can just delete it completely by right clicking and removing it. And as you can see, I have this new pen tool shape. You also have a text tool, which is once again, very self-explanatory. I can just put in, you know, text and I'm good to go. And then I can edit all the text on the right side. And then finally we have, uh, you know, the option to place any image you want. So you just click on it and we're going to add this swaggylicious picture, which is a bit too big. So we're just going to zoom out by pressing control and moving the scroll wheel and then resizing it while holding shift and putting it right here. And there you go. And finally, you can add more shapes. You can add a lot of different shapes just by clicking these three dots. So I can even add arrows if I wanted to like so. And as you can see, it's the basis of Photoshop in the sense that you can add any shapes, text, drawings, as well as custom shapes, and then edit them right after and manipulate them through the layers. So I can click on this you know, circle, for example, and I can flip it either way, which doesn't make a difference. And I can move it above or below the other layers. 
Now, if I actually wanted to make something in, you know, this vector program, you guys know all the basics now. All you have to do is create a new file. Okay, we're going to make a starry night picture. So we're going to go ahead and get the pen tool. And what we're going to do is we are going to make some hills by using the pen tool, like so. And then we can just continue this here. And then what we can do is we can just go around. This won't be seen. And then what we can do is we can color this green on the inside like so. And then what we can do is maybe use the rectangle tool to highlight what we want the sky to be, which is this. We can make the color blue. We can go ahead and go into our layers and use a layer tool to bring it down underneath the grass. And then what we can do is we can make a sun using the eclipse tool, for example. We can go ahead and create an eclipse. Let me just undo that and remove it because it is not completely round. We're going to select the eclipse tool, hold shift and make an eclipse. We're going to make it yellow. We're going to add a black border to it. And then we're going to use the pencil tool, for example, to draw a cloud. So as you can see, we've implemented every single tool. You know how everything works now. And then I can go ahead and fill this cloud in to become white. And finally, using the text tool, I can just type out my picture like so. And I'll make the text larger. I'll make it 72 by just typing in 72 PX. And there we go. So there you go, guys. That's how you use this software called Vector. It's basically, you know, Illustrator and Photoshop in one online software. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out. This is a Chucky Beat production.